artistic flower arrangements on display in Japan, the US, or at an Indian wedding in Italy. Daniel Ost's arrangements are in demand the world over. The Belgian turns everything green into amazing displays. In his home country, Ost is known as the Picasso of flower arranging. But compliments like that just make the modest florist smile. Many people say he's an artist, and they say I'm the Van Gogh of the flowers. I, but on my name card, there is still a very simple Bloombinder. The title is not important. Ost opened his first florist shop in 1980 in St. Nicholas near Brussels. Four years later, he moved there with his family. In 2003, he opened another store in the Belgian capital, Brussels. Today, he's a well-known figure all over the country. Ost discovered his love of flowers at an early age. My grandfather was a farmer, and uh, I was already collecting flowers, and at that time, the pits with excrements of animals to nourish the land were still open. And I fell into that pit and I lost conscience and I almost lost my life and my grandfather just arrived. He, he, I think he broke the Olympic record at that time in running to there because he only saw my white hair and he still recalls that I had in my small hands the flowers. Flowers were to become his overriding passion. Among Ost's customers, the Belgian royal family and top fashion labels. This is for the fashion designer Dries van Noten. This is his favorite flower and uh, yes, it, 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 it became iconical because it has been maybe copied 50 times. Luxury and beauty brands also embellish their images with Ost's signature look. It's the back shop of the, the Shiseido cosmetic shop in, uh, in uh, Ginza in Tokyo. And this is uh, berries, it's uh, co called Korean Smilax, but uh, it's done one by one, the berries. It's with huge teams. That project took two days and nights. His wife, Marianne, has played a key role in his career. Without my wife, I would be nothing. I wouldn't be famous and I, nobody would have known about my existence. She was my, she was stabilizing me. She was keeping with my two feet on the ground. That's all. The two married 40 years ago. There were a few speed bumps. My father and mother didn't want us to get married, and her father and mother didn't want us to get married. And the priest was talking about somebody else because he made a mistake in the speech about us. He was talking about another couple, and it was very funny. And, uh, but he said to her, then he realized he made a terrible mistake. And then he said, but Marianne, don't forget, he will always be first in love with his flowers, and then you will be second yeah, place. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The Osts have passed on their passion for plants to their daughter Nela. She runs the business in Brussels. Doing the impossible and doing it perfectly, that's what drives both generations. In 2017, Nela Ost turned a royal wedding in the Emirate of Ajman into a scene out of a fairy tale. To do it, she had to fly in over 30,000 flowers from the Netherlands, cut them by hand and arrange them while always ensuring they got enough water. A hundred people worked on it for two weeks. Nela has followed in her father's footsteps. After years of hesitation on his part, she finally convinced him to work as court florist for the Belgian royal family. I think it's, yeah, it's nice and it's something um, you have to deserve every time again because it's not something that is guaranteed for years to come. So again, there's the pressure. <laughs> but both father and daughter apparently thrive on that pressure. Daniel's just returned from New York where he turned the city's botanical garden into a sea of orchids. 
The Orchid Show will be on display until the end of April. The 62-year-old has already moved on to other challenges. Working with flowers is one of the most ephemeral of art forms. This is my love. That's, that's important. I like, to, I like what I do. I'm always forced to make new things, and that is what I like about it. And Belgium's most famous florist plans to keep on creating masterpieces for years to come.